came to me backstage in Tennessee many, many years ago, and it was absolutely in perfect condition. And the guy sold it to me for relatively cheap. Um, I didn't play it for many years because my number one at the time was a Flying V, a 1971 medallion V. But I always had wanted a Strat with a good old whammy bar on it. But every time I picked up this one and played the whammy bar, it went out of tune. So it was very frustrating. I couldn't play it very often. But years went by and years went by, and I finally just got mad at it. And I put on, I just did what, I did the sacrilegious thing, which was, you know, it's really pissed off all the guitar nerds. And that was put a locking bridge and nut on it. Well, now my whammy bar works perfectly. So I don't really care what they say. And then I put in um, Joe Barden pickups to get rid of all that nasty hum that comes from the old single coils. Um, so there I was, and I was kind of really kind of finding the, the, the sound I wanted after all of those little modifications. And one by one, you know, parts just wore out and wore out. I think I've replaced this bridge five times. And this is not even the original neck. I wore the neck out and had to put on a new one. So what, is it a vintage neck? or No, no it's not. There's nothing special about this thing. The, the body is old, it's a 64, and it has its own uh, tonal artifacts to it, and that's what makes it, I think, special, because it doesn't matter what I do to it, it still sort of sounds the same.